Okay guys, so today we have a lower body workout that's guaranteed to get you the lower body that you're looking for. So if you're looking for separated quads, bigger and stronger hamstrings, if you're looking for massive calves, if you're looking to grow some 100% organic non-GMO um, peaches, stay tuned. So let's get started. Now for every single one of these exercises, there's one thing to keep in mind and that's to keep your core tight. The reason why I say that is because keeping your core tight helps with proper form and it also helps with um, saving energy from you know wasted movement and when you save more energy that means more energy can go to that muscle that's being worked on which means you can do more reps which means more tension which means the muscles working harder which means more potential for muscle growth now we're gonna start with the quads first and we can't go wrong with some leg extensions now when you do this exercise make sure you get in a comfortable position make sure that pad that you have um, by your foot is not on your foot it's uh, right on top of your foot um, also, when you do this exercise, make sure you straighten your leg all the way out and hold for a second at the top so that way you feel that contraction and also make sure you bring it all the way down to have that full, nice range of motion. Now the next lift is going to be for the quads as well. We're going to do some forward and reverse lunges. Now when you're doing this exercise, take a nice big step forward. Make sure that front knee does not pass um, your toes. You want to make sure your front leg has a nice L shape or 90 degree angle in relation to the ground. You also want to push off when you're pushing off um, to go back to neutral or to go back to, to the reverse lunge. You want to make sure you're pushing off that front foot. Push off from the heel, heel and not your toes because if you push off from your toes, you have the potential to, you know, topple over and having weight on the base of your neck uh, and toppling over is not a good idea. So make sure with that front foot you push off from the heel. Now when you go to reverse, take a nice big step backwards and make sure again that front foot does have that L shape or 90 degree angle in relation to the ground and also when you're going back from you know the reverse to now neutral or forward you want to make sure you're pushing off from that those back toes as well now if you're not comfortable with having you know weight at the base of your neck that's okay you can use dumbbells for this exercise as well now the next lift is going to be for the hamstrings we're going to do some seated hamstring curls now when you're doing this exercise get in a comfortable position make sure that pad that's under your leg is, is at the base of your achilles or right before the end of your foot Make sure also that pad that's on your thigh is not nice and snug on those quads as well so that way there's no t there's no movement of your leg so that way the hamstrings are getting all the attention. Now a thing to keep in mind when doing this exercise is the higher your foot goes, the harder it's going to be because um, due to your anatomy, the higher your legs are in relation to your body, the more stretched out um, the hamstrings are and anything stretched means, means tension so the fact that you know before you even start moving the weight your hamstrings um, already have tension in them and they're, and they're already working is going to make, make things harder and when you're doing your hamstring curls make sure you curl all the way down so that way that's the nice good contraction is happening and then raise your legs all the way back up now for the next exercise we're, we're going to stick with the hamstrings we're going to do some standing single leg hamstring curls now for this exercise make sure you're looking straight forward make sure that ideally that only that working leg is moving keep things tight and also if you're starting you know hunching over um, doing this exercise that means you're using momentum and that's not a good thing for this exercise you want to have that stand straight so that way the hamstrings are only working and you're not using momentum to move the weight and also make sure you have that full nice range of motion so go curl all the way up and then bring the leg all the way back down so that way you're working as much as possible so that way those cable cord hamstrings could appear at some point now we're gonna give the calves some attention with some seated calf raises now for this exercise um you're working the, the muscle called the soleus which lies under the muscle called the gastrocnemius and it's important to work this muscle because the fact that it lies under what we all know as the calf or the gastrocnemius means when that, that muscle gets bigger it kind of pushes out the calf muscle or the gastrocnemius which makes the calves look appear you know bigger and fuller now when you're doing this exercise, make sure you explode up and slowly come back down for that nice full range of motion. And you also want to have on the platform your foot, um, your foot, the front part of your foot on the platform and not the back part of your foot. So that way your legs, your foot can go past parallel to increase that range of motion. So that way again, the muscle that's being worked on can work as much as possible. Now we're gonna stick with the calves, but this time we're gonna go do some standing calf raises to give the gastrocnemius or the calf muscle some more attention and like the one before it make sure you're exploding up and slowly coming back down make sure the only the front part of your foot um, is on the platform so that way you can have that nice full range of motion next we're gonna go farming at the cable column to grow some 100% non-gmo peaches now for this exercise you want to make sure with that standing leg 
You wanna make sure it's slightly bent so there's not too much pressure on that knee. Now for the working leg, um, you wanna make sure that leg is straight at all times and then when you're raising it, keep it straight at all times. Don't, don't bend it so that way there's a nice full good contraction on those glutes and make sure you bring it as high as possible for the positioning of the exercise. You wanna have your body in like an L or seven shape. Make sure you're not hunching on your back because hunching your back and then extending your leg out, the range of motion and your is not good and the glutes are not gonna be activated. And if your glutes are not being activated properly, you can grow nice 100% organic non-GMO peaches. What you can also do during this exercise to make your glutes even look even better is to do some pulses. Now this is a great way to um, you know light up your glutes because when you have your legs all the way up in the air, your glutes are contracted. And then going back and forth with the little, you know, pulses is a great way to work the muscle even more, to get it, you know, more tension and more fired. So that way the peaches can go into full bloom. And I don't know why I keep, you know, mentioning peaches. I'm sorry. It's just, I just find it funny. So I hope you like it. Now we're gonna hit the inner thigh muscles with some hip adductions. Now when you're doing this exercise, get in a comfortable position. Make sure as you're bringing your legs in, make sure they bring, they go all the way in to the point where both sides are touching each other. And then as you're going back out, make sure you don't go back out to a point where the weights are touching each other because when that happens, um, that means all the tension goes away from the muscles, which means your muscles are resting and we don't want that. The only time you should be resting is when the set is over. And now we're gonna hit the hip muscles or outer butt muscles as, as people like to call it with some hip abductions. Now I'm doing this exercise, get in a comfortable position, make sure your legs are all the way in. And then as you're going all the way out, make sure you go out as much as possible and then go bring your legs into a point where right before the waist touch each other. Now that was the last of the exercises. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, if you got value, please subscribe turn that bell and leave a comment down below. And always remember to make mirrors your canvas, waste your paint brush, sweat your paint, and may your drawing always be beautifully unfinished because on this channel, we try to empower people at home and nutrition and at the gym with the goal of building muscle. So if you like that, subscribe, R-I-F-R-I-W, and see you in the next video.